after I picked my jaw up off the ground because it had dropped so quickly. My phone was blowing up. People were saying, can you believe this? A Winnipeg transit riders petition to keep masks mandatory on buses past March 15th garners a thousand signatures in less than a day. I think that this is just a really simple way to keep our community safe. The city of Winnipeg announcing Wednesday that if mask requirements are completely removed from the provincial public health orders effective March 15th, it's anticipated that we will no longer require masks in our facility and onboard transit vehicles for members of the public. Rather, it will be strongly encouraged instead. Petition author Zach Fleischer says encouragement is simply not enough and a mandate will get better results, noting the city has set their own mandates before. In August 2021, when the province temporarily announced that they were getting rid of the mask mandate, uh, they kept it on. And so there's obviously a precedent for them to go above and beyond. Fleischer says it's about keeping people safe when they're in a confined space with shared air. You don't have the option to just open a window uh, to improve circulation. And as far as I know, the city hasn't uh, put out our release information about improving ventilation on buses. Mayor Brian Bowman asked about the anticipated decision to remove the mask mandate in lockstep with the province. He says his preference and that of the public service is that mask rules should continue. But without provincial public health orders to cite, there are concerns about municipal workers' ability to enforce the rule. As for taking the lead on mandates of their own, he says it's different this time. In the past, it was, it was at a time in which there were rising case counts. Um, and we did feel that the province would eventually follow our lead. Um, that, that is not the environment that sadly we're, we're in right now. Um, it's good that the case counts appear to be going in the right direction. Um, you know, I, I would expect the province to revisit their orders if the situation changes. It becomes... Um useless to have a mandate when there's no enforcement. That is our position. ATU President Romeo Ignacio says the union supports the petition, but without provincial enforcement, he says there are concerns for transit driver safety. He also says if it doesn't become mandatory for the public to wear masks on buses, the driver shouldn't have to either. Are you really protecting the province or the, the public by imposing uh, the mask on our operators, but not the, the public? So it's either you have the mandate or you don't. Mayor Bowman did not confirm if this petition will impact the decision on extended mask use on transit buses. While Bowman is in favor and of extended is, uh, mask uh, mandates at City Hall, Winnipeg City, City Council Thursday voted against extending mask use in chambers. In Winnipeg, Mike Albany, City News.